Hello, uh, welcome to Moon and Back UK's YouTube channel. My name's Nick. Um, I thought I'd start by uh, showing you a white background product shoot that I did for a uh, soap company that makes soap for runners, which is which is quite cool. Uh, this is the final article. Um, as you can see, a nice little reflection, nice soft light, but there is some highlights in there as well, just to bring out some detail in the tin. Uh, that's straight out of the camera. Um, so there is a softbox to my left and a beauty dish to my right, giving a, a nice even lighting across it. So what I'm going to do is just show you how uh, how I go from uh, straight out of camera to the final picture. So I always open up in Lightrooms and select Custom White Balance. This just makes sure that my colours are nice and natural. Because it's white background, I can pick anywhere on the white background. Um, and then I go and open up Photoshop. The only thing I'm going to be doing in Photoshop is, is just adjusting the levels. Um, I could overexpose the background in Lightroom, but I get a bit more control uh, in Photoshop adjusting the levels like that. So as I open up a, a levels layer, um, before I adjust them, I, I hit Alt, uh, hold Alt, and then slide the layer down. And what I'm doing is I'm blowing out the background, overexposing it, so we get a pure white background. Uh, I've got to be careful how far I go with this because I don't want to overexpose the actual product itself. Um, so then I bring in the uh, the darker areas just until you can you can start seeing the product. It just adds a nice little bit of contrast, and that's all I'm going to do. Um, we can um, we can dodge some of the areas around just where uh, where it might not have overexposed, just to clean it up. Most of it's going to be cropped out anyway, but uh, just a habit to get into. And then we're going to hit Command S on a Mac or Control S on a PC. And that is going to save it and dump it straight back into Lightroom for us. And there we have it. Now all I'm need, going to need to do is just put a crop. We're going to go by a, a one by one crop because this is going to be used for e-commerce website and Instagram. So it's quite easy to work with. Get it nice and straight. Product in the middle and then hit enter to confirm our crop. Simple as that. So we've gone from a straight out of camera image to the final product, which I think looks nice and clean and crisp and uh, ready to be put onto a website. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've learned something from it. If you've got any comments, stick them below and I will answer.